A local community theater group has now achieved nonprofit status, and we wanted to know what does this change for them? Apparently, quite a lot. Yeah, a lot. Oran Spitzer met with the members to learn about that and their upcoming shows this weekend. She's here in studio now. Oran. The Penfield players are made up of actors, directors, and playwrights. Members are from around Monroe County, but some come from further away. The group's upcoming show is called Crusaders Amok. It's a comedy about the fourth crusade meant for adults. The shows are Saturday and Sunday at 2, and entry is free, though donations are appreciated. It's a radio play, so the actors will have scripts in hand. The Penfield players became a nonprofit in January. President of the group, Elizabeth Gill, tells me this will help them accept donations. So that we can support our future productions. Because an, a nonprofit organization, we do still have costs. Playwright and director of Crusaders Amok, Tristan Burley, says he's been doing community theater since he graduated from college a few years ago. He's both nervous and excited for audiences to see his play. Just in general with community theater, it should always be about having fun first, as well as putting on a very good show. Um, but it's with Reader's Theater like this, I've just tried to keep it very common with all the actors and just trying to have fun and be silly um, more than anything else. If you'd like to submit a play for consideration, Gill says you need a nearly completed piece. Again, they have their Reader's Theater performance this weekend for free at the Penfield Community Center. Guys, back to you. All right, Ron, thank you.